the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. All right, now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,500 likes, okay? Now, definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, as I've uploaded every single day since 2K20's prelude, and I've dub uploaded every single day since 2K21's prelude. So hopefully you can appreciate that 9 a.m. and that 4 p.m. upload every single day. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? <coughs> Excuse me. So now, let's get straight into this video. So today we're going to talk about the one and only Kevin Garnett, a.k.a. The Big Ticket. Now, Kevin Garnett, to me, is um arguably, I think, okay, so and this may be controversial, but I feel like Kevin Garnett is the best power forward to ever play in the league. I feel like, you know, obviously he was in, I guess you can say, like, superstar purgatory when he was with the Timberwolves. Almost just like how um, a lot of the great power forwards, Charles Barkley and those types, that really didn't have that secondary player to really get them over the top. <clears throat> you know, so like, for instance, a lot of people want to say, like, you know, Tim Duncan is the greatest, but... You know, Tim Duncan had Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili. He even had David Robinson for his first go-round. You know, and then, of course, when Kevin Garnett finally got surrounded by some talent, even though he was in advanced stages of, of his career, he still won a championship. And, of course, then he had Ray Allen, um, Ray John Rondo, and, of course, Paul Pierce. Right now, if you look at him, he's a 97 overall two-way slasher. Oh, and also, you know, hey, listen, he was the first one to get drafted out of high school since 1975 previously so you know so so if you want to appreciate that he came straight out of high school um he was the first player um taken um in that draft class when the um nba implemented because at first it, they had it, the um players can get drafted out of high school and then the last one that happened was in i think it was 1975 somewhere around there um daryl dawkins was the one the first player ever selected um out of high school and then of course kg came um, some years later, and of course, you know, um, was the first pick. Um, but again, like I said, man, I feel like he's, I, listen, if you never seen Kevin Garnett play moves with the Timberwolves, man, he was an unstoppable force. I mean, he played on the trashiest teams, man. Like, I can, I guess you can say the best teammates he had at that time maybe was Latrell Spree, um, Spreewell or maybe Stefan Marbury. I mean, these were like, you know, if anything, like B-level type stars, you know, but KG just came straight into the league and just dominated. He literally carried the Timberwolves franchises to playoffs, appearances after playoff appearances. But of course, when you're going up against, you know, the Lakers of those time frames and, you know, the Jazz, um, the Rockets, oh my God. I mean, they had no shot. And they were always, I think like the best they ever did one year, I think they did finish first or second in the um in the Western Front um, Conference, but again, it wasn't nothing like that, all right? <clears throat> so let me see, what year was it? Yeah, 95, 96 was his first year. But um, <clears throat> let's just look at some things here. So what makes him really great, KG really great, is that he could. there was nothing he couldn't do. He could dribble, he could shoot. Um, you can see driving dunks at 988. Um, his mid-range was at 94. <clears throat> he had a really, really solid mid-range jump shot. Of course, you know the low post is going to be really good. Um, ball handling is a 70, and that's what people don't realize. I mean, like, he was a freak of nature. There's a reason why he came straight out of high school and drafted first of all. There was no doubt in my mind, like, his talent. He was just so good. Um, and even when his advanced stages, he was still so good. He was just, no one had the type of heart and charisma and drive. And he was mean, man. Like, KG was mean. 92 interior defense. If you don't know what I'm talking about, man, y'all look at some videos. That man was mean. And he talked trash all day. Um, blocks in 80, 91, 84, offensive rebound. Um, speeds at 79, <clears throat> strengths only in 84. Of course, you know, he was really frail. 6'11, 220. Um, and then, of course, when you look at the badges, you're going to have a lot of finishing, of course, post moves and that type of deal. Post riser, put back balls. He even has his shooting, the hatchet shoot and set shooter, which is really, really good bass for centers. Um, it's a really good badge to have. And then, of course, there's no playmaking there. And then defensively, you're going to have a lot of defensive badges, okay? So let's do this, my nephews and nieces. Let's head over to the My Player Builder and make the one and only Kevin Garnett. 
All right, my nephews and nieces, let's get into it. So, of course, you know, KG was a power forward. Um, he was left-handed. Shout out to the Southpaws. Let me know in the comment section if you left or right-handed. I'm left-handed, so, you know, I'm always showing love to the Southpaws. Um, he's number 21, of course. Um, what I did here, instead of being 6'11", I went 6'10". Again, because you want to be able to get that shooting, so that's what I went with. Um, 237 was his weight, and then, of course, 7'1", um, with his wingspan. I went compact, you know, I could have gone slight or compact, but I went compact for KG, all right? Um, again, you don't need close shot, um, to, but at the same time, close shot is good if you're trying to do post hooks and stuff, but let's just keep it a stack. A lot of people aren't gonna be sitting there trying to do post hooks with a KG build. What you're gonna try to do is face up, get to the basket, contact dunks, that type of deal. Um, 87 on the mid-range. We're gonna go 69 on a three-point shot and 58 on the free throw, okay? So we're trying to get right there on the brink for some of his things. 68 on his pass accuracy. He had a 70 ball handle. We're going 70 with ball handle also. The speed with ball was already like a, I think it was like a 30 something. We're going to still, we're going to go 30. Um, interior defense is going to be maxed out. Perimeter defense still. We're going to go 80 on the block. He had an 80 block. We're going 80 on the block. Um, 88 defensive rebound. He had an 88. And we also go 84. He had an 84 offensive. So we're going there. Then we're going to max out the speed, his acceleration. Um, let me see. His strength is a 69, his vert is a 70, and then his stamina is an 80, I mean a 76, okay? So let me make sure I got this right, boom, 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 boom. All right, just wanted to make sure everything's good. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. 19, 10, 4, 20. Again, of course, the finishing and the defense is going to be his two highest tiers. Obviously, we're talking about KG. And then he has the shooting, which is 10. is going to be really, really good. You do get a plus 10 to everything here. So your driving dunk is going to be an 86, a 99 standing dunk. Post control is going to be a 93. You're going to have a ridiculous 91 mid-range shot. Even a 73 three-pointer. Um, a, a 72 pass accuracy, 74 ball, um, ball handle. A 96 interior defense. A 77 perimeter. We all know how important that perimeter is because that perimeter is attached to your lateral quickness. You get a 74 steal, 84 block, 88 offensive rebound, a 92 defensive rebound, 76 speed, 72 acceleration, 73 strength, 74 vert, and an 80 stamina. So all in all, really, really solid build. And of course, when you come here, you have so many choices you can go with. You got the post. And of course, when you're dealing with KG, I think it does make sense to have... Um, your ability to work in the post. I think that just makes sense. So it really comes down to making it easier to beat defenders with post spins, fakes, drives, and clear outs, or the daggers. I think this is the best way because you can literally face up with this and be able to hit him with jab steps and get past him, which is easy, or post spin. So I'm gonna do that. And then of course here, you gotta go with the finished moves, right? You gotta go with the finished moves. You could go a rim protector, but I'm going with the finished moves for KG, okay? So this is what we're gonna go with. And then here you have it, my nephews and nieces, a two-way slasher. And of course, at the top, you got shades of Kevin Garnett. Again, like I said, this build is really, really good, man. I know for a fact this is going to be able to play no matter where you're at. The park, the rec, doesn't matter. Really solid build. Um, here, of course, since you are going to be dealing with a lot of um, back down moves, so you want to be able to have back down punisher. Let's get Dream Shake. Postman Technician, I think we should go and max it all the way out. That just makes sense. You want to get rise up, of course. Of course, you want to get posterizer, all right? And then you want to get put back balls. And then let's get the last little bit on slithery, okay? Let's do that. You don't need acrobat and all that type stuff because you're not going to, it's not that type of build, okay? So you want to be able to go here, all right? And then course here, man, you got to go with the catch and shoot. You got to go with the hot zone hunter, wherever that's at. Where is hot? Okay, hot zone hunter. Then the last two, I will go with Spade Ace and then, of course, Set Shooter, right? Increases the rating when taking your time before shooting. I think these are really, really good badges here, man. Okay, as you can tell, this build is stacked up to be ridiculous. And then, of course, here you want to go with, uh, let's see. They even give you Anchor Breaker? Hello? Um, let's go. Let's go. Dang. I don't know, man. We want to get Bell out. I wanted to get quick first step, but I think it's because of his speed. So then maybe we just go diamond in, man. There's not much we can really do there. And then here, of course, you want to go chase down, rim protector. You want to go intimidator. Um, 
Let me see, Pogo Stick, of course, Rebound Chaser, um, Interceptor, let's go Pogo Stick Hall of Fame on that. Let's go Rim Protector on Gold, the Hall of Fame too on that. And then, because you don't have clamps, you don't have that, boom, boom, boom. Let's go, let's go, let's just go Heart Crusher, all right? But anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the one and only Kevin Garnett build. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you are no damn talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.